another turn of the hourglass. Alright, hello, welcome everyone, um, anyone who feels like watching this. Um, I'm Turbo, I just wanted to go over a play that I thought was really interesting, um, that happened recently in the Dota Pit, uh, Season 3 game between Ninjas in Pajamas and Team Fire. Um, I'm just gonna go over it as it happens. I thought this was really interesting. This isn't the moment in exactly, but as you can see here, Era goes in, he thinks that Ush is alone, but in fact he isn't. Fluff and stuff's gonna jump in, get the hex off, impale, so that um, Slark can't use his ultimate like he intended, I suppose. So Slark is dead for 55 seconds, which is pretty huge. At the same time, just gonna jump back five sec uh, 10 seconds, you can see Yonosum Fan picks up his uh, Shadow Blade, so just to... Um, so, Era has just died. Okay, so... Yonasum Fan gets his Shadow Blade. He gets it immediately. He thinks that, um... Well, Fire are missing their Tier 2 Tower here. So, as soon as he hears the call from Era, that sure, he's died, but he knows that there are two heroes top. So, he might assume that even if there are two heroes behind the Storm Spirit, who he sees, just to see the fog for the radiant he doesn't see this area it, it shows him as seeing it but he actually doesn't so he doesn't know that witch doctor and tide hunter are behind him but he has some idea but he knows that at least two heroes are top and that the shadow fiend ultimate has been used so he thinks that it's okay to go for this kill even though handskin on the rubik and ape mother are pretty far away he still goes for it. It's a uh, real. I mean, he can still get this kill, and Brax ends up surviving. So we'll just watch here. So he uses the doom. He sees the fucking mad and uh, demon are behind him. Ravage goes off. Uh, fucking mad almost kills him. The uh, the the uh, level death actually very timely here from Yonasum fan. Just to rewind a little bit. I know I'm such a tease. Um. You can see both Fluff and Stuff and Ush have um, TP scrolls. Ush doesn't need to use it because as soon as the fight breaks out, he's already at his tier 2. Fluff and Stuff teleports immediately to the closest tower, which is very good by him. He's going to be able to get in and get a kill from this. Demon's going to die, but that means that he does get the kill onto Doom. He does get lifted up by the Rubik, but it ends up not mattering that much. Rubik's going to die here. And Ape Mother jumps out. He immediately... He already had illusions in the Roshan Pit, so he scouted it out. But uh, the one thing I thought was interesting is that you'd think Fire would capitalize off this pretty well. As you can see from the gold and XP graph, they get a pretty sizable gold and XP change from those three kills. They use all their ultimates, basically, in that lead-up, but it's pretty important that... Um, they end up not scouting Roshan. So, Ninjas in Pajamas, sure, they have a few heroes down, but as soon as Slark respawns, um, he's going to teleport to one of the towers, and they are immediately going to go. He's got a TP scroll. Oh, he's just going to walk out. So, I think the main important thing here is that Fire didn't capitalize off winning that team fight. They didn't even scout Roche. So, when it happens in a few seconds... Ninjas in Pajamas just walk in. There's no vision here for the Dire. So it ends up being a completely free Roche. And Ninjas, ninjas in Pajamas basically take back um, the slight lead that they had given away. I mean, they didn't give away a whole lot because they were ahead by a good amount. But that net worth and experience that um, Fire gained from that fight is immediately lost. So just a little lesson, I suppose on why you should why you should always try to get something done because if you look back I'm just gonna end up going back a little bit more um, Ush goes right back to base and instead of going to check Roche I mean that's not on him nobody on his team really went a fluff could have easily checked it they if they finished the fight right here but instead of checking it they decide they're just gonna go back and farm even though they had a good opportunity to take Roche after um, winning that fight fairly handily. Alright, so that's my short little analysis. Uh, 
If you want to watch more, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you want to see more games like this, watch the Dota Pit Season 3. I mean, fantastic series. They have instant replay and stuff. I just felt like it would be cool to make this video. So, thank you for watching.